welcome back to the channel guys uh, today you join me in the AMG have a little look-see and we are at the pump once again and that's just getting started we're probably looking at about a hundred bucks fueling this thing is absolutely ridiculous um, so in today's video we we've taken delivery of the AMG uh, about four days ago it's got a few things that it that I need serviced um, and I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna show you those things right now we're taking it to Mercedes-Benz of Doylestown which is about 40 minutes away um, and we're gonna have these things looked at and try and have them all um, warranty okay so let's just make our way around a little really quickly here and, uh, and I'll show you the things that need to be uh, sorted out so this housing here this little plastic piece has kind of come loose all right Mercedes when you start when you start the car it presents the steering or the um, the seatbelt bang See how that piece is coming loose a little bit there that piece pops out. I need that to be done. That's the first thing um, Let's take a little look-see here coming around. How's the gas looking? Uh, we're at 42 not great. All right, let's take a look at the other issue So coming around the front of the car This is the next issue that I that I have next big issue is this little piece here it's i don't know whether it's a loose clip or something at the back but it's sitting it's sitting off from the car and it's starting to wear the paint a little bit so this is a big this is my biggest issue you can just kind of push it in there but that's how it should sit right it's german made should be really nice but it keeps coming off so that's my first priority um, of my list of things for mercedes to fix we need to get that done and i'm hoping it's just a clip in the back there um, get that sorted out next piece let's take a look Coming over here opening up the the car and okay so look at the beauty beautiful v8 twin turbo but this is the piece that i like to have fixed that's sort of tearing there a little bit i don't know if that's an easy fix or not but a little bit of a little bit of an issue um so these are the things on my checklist um obviously the 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 water coolants, all those things, washer fluid, that's empty. I need to have that sort of filled up. Um, yeah, a few other little little minor things, but nothing uh, nothing too uh, too crazy as the gas gets to 70 bucks. All right, so that's not too bad. Not too bad, 93 bucks. That was from complete empty. 91%. Don't dare touch that stuff. 93 bucks. Not the end of the world. $93 later, getting back into the car. Let's do a little cold start or a little start here and I'll let you know what the next issue is. So starting it up and right away you can see tire pressures. All right, that's what's cool about this car is it gives you tire pressures. But my back right doesn't keep the tire pressure. I put, I put a bunch of air into it a few days ago and brought it up to 51. 50 and it's losing air pressure these two are keeping their number that's keeping their no that's keeping its number but this one is an issue so I need them to take a look at that hopefully because this is a new set of tires Michelin uh, pilot 4s's I'm hoping that there's not an issue there because that's gonna be a big cost so yeah let's head over to Mercedes-Benz of Doylestown about 40 minute uh, nice drive beautiful day and uh, we're gonna go through our first uh, Mercedes-Benz servicing appointment um, again, this car is under warranty for the next sort of 18 months. So all this stuff should be pretty straightforward, I'm hoping. I'm hoping I don't come out of pocket for any of this stuff, right? Buy an expensive car, you keep it under warranty, you, you hope that you're not out of pocket for any of this stuff. So let's go, let's take a look and, uh, and see what the, what the damage is and what the, what the process is. Well, here we are in Doylestown, wherever the hell that is. Up. Going up. There we go. Work 
in progress. It's starting to work on her. Too much longer. So, at Mercedes, servicing my big twin turbo V8, and I ran into a very, very intriguing, interesting gentleman who's got me loving this Chevy uh, Bolt. This thing's so fast corners really well all the batteries are sitting nice and low look at the rims the rims are nice take it for a little rip a couple little gems at the mercedes dealership been here for so long i've got some some uber eats coming look at this nice g-wagon oh my god it's, it's like a one-off blue gorgeous man gorgeous love that Love that. Oh, it's a 2022. God, that is sick. That is nasty. Nasty. A little, little out of my budget. I got the same wheels, though. That looks nice, man. You got the nice front grill on these ones as well. That's so sick. All right, so fast forward to the next day. Uh, I was sat at the servicing um, department at Mercedes for about five hours. They did a few things, which I'm gonna show you at the end of this video, uh, but it was also in for a recall, software update recall for the reverse camera. They couldn't get it, they couldn't get it to work. The software was kicking. When they put the software on, it, was, it wasn't taking it. They, they were reloading it, reloading it, reloading it. Finally, they put a, rear, a brand new rear view camera housing back into it. Couldn't get it, so they gave me this loaner car. Gave me a C300 2022. Um, video soon to come, full review soon to come. Take a look at it. Uh, they've given that to me for the night. Just got the call now about a half hour ago. My car's gonna be ready in the next two hours. I guess they figured it out. They wanted to leave the car overnight. Apparently it resets itself or something like that and will take to the software a little bit better. So a lot of bickering around with it, a lot of, a lot of you know, a lot of tedious sort of work for, um, kind of annoying for me, but even more so for the technician there. Saw him like waving his hands and stuff like that. Can't get this, can't get this. It's the same as like an iPhone software update, but it just wasn't taking, wasn't taking, wasn't taking. I really don't get it. I don't know why Mercedes would create something that makes the, the software worse, but who knows. Uh, so the car's gonna be ready in the next sort of hour, hour and a half. Let's bounce up there and get my baby. I'm excited to have it back. All right, here we are guys, back from the servicing in Mercedes-Benz Doylestown, and I've got the bill here. Um, and it wasn't really actually too bad. I think most people, when they, when they assume you go to this, you know, these luxury car companies to get your car serviced, even if it is in warranty, that it's, that it's gonna be a huge, huge expense. Um, this wasn't so, so, so bad. So we had a few issues. We had the seat bell housing, um, little, little buckle that needs to be ordered. That's not included here. That part's been ordered and we're going to come to you in, in the future with a, with a, a number of how much it cost. There was a whole fuel line, um, sort of area that, um, that had like a heat blanket that needed to be replaced. Uh, and they, you know, the shadiness of them, um, said that it was chewed off by a rodent underneath the hood and so they deemed it not under warranty and so instead of just replacing the little sort of heat shield that went over the line they said they needed to do the whole thing so it was about 400 dollars for the part another two hours of labor they were looking they told me it was going to be about 800 dollars, and it's not in this quote here but i'm looking at 800 dollars to do that so right now it's this little tear now I've shown it to you at the start of the video i'll show it to you again at the end of the or the at the the, in the next little bit here i'll go down there um, it's, a, it's kind of an eyesore. I do want to do it because I want the car to be 100% up to speed. Um, you know, eventually that could just get worse and worse and worse. That tear could just get more and more and more and more and more to the point where the thing falls off. And then that, that piece, that line is going to be susceptible to heat. And that, that car, God, under that engine gets so, so hot. So something to look out for. I'm probably going to do that in the next little while. But 800 bucks, 400 bucks parts, $200 um, times two for labor. One hour, I think, for labor for these technicians at AMG is 200 bucks, so that's kind of where we're, at, where we're at with that. So just taking a look at my actual invoice here, uh, the whole thing was about <coughs> 253.33, okay? And so what I needed actually to be done was, that was, um, if you can see this here, bang, just right there, okay? It says, client states that the RR tire needs to be filled, okay? Check for damage. So. Uh, that ended up being $40 just to fill the tire 
and uh, fill the tire with air and then patch it. So I ended up, I guess, going over a, um, a screw or something like that. You know, Philadelphia roads, my God. But I, I popped, I guess I popped the tire, split the tire, uh, which is a huge pain in the butt because it probably needs a new tire now or even a rear set of tires. Uh, but the cool thing about this car is that it shows you, your sensors show you your tire pressure, your oil gauges, everything, your, all, your, all your temperatures, all your, you know, your, your, you know, where you're at with your pressure and so that. And as soon as something's off a little bit, boom, it starts to let you know. So I had a readout right away, and I was like, what is that? What is that? Went and put a bunch of air in it. It wasn't holding. That's when I sort of decided to bring it to a Mercedes Benz. So temporary fix, uh, just to fill it with air, patch it. 40 bucks, not, not the end of the world, but I don't think it's a, it's a permanent solution. Okay, so the second part, and there's a funny story behind this, second part was $200, one hour of labor, they said, ended up taking the guy, actually, I think it probably took him about like 20 minutes. Um, this was the front bumper that was just kind of protrude, like protruding a little bit, if that's flush, it was sitting just like that a little bit, which is so awful, I don't know if that's from the, the delivery guys like, you know, just not handling it correctly or what, but that was a real eyesore when I first got to the car. When I picked it up two weeks ago, I was like, oh my God, what is that? Like that's, that was worrying. So uh, $200, they popped off the whole front grill, I think, which can be done pretty quickly. They put a little um, little clip in there just to sort of bring it, bring it up. So instead of it sitting like that, they brought it, boom, there, nice and flush. Everything's good, the paint's not rubbing anymore. It's all good. But when I went to check out here, if you can see this, when I went to check out, it says that, that's the $200 charge, fender lining to re repair the bumper, 200 bucks, one hour of labor. They forgot to put that on there. So I was gonna walk out of Mercedes-Benz, literally, I had, a, I had a recall done as well for the rear view camera that had to be done when you service, when you service something at, you service your car at Mercedes and there's a recall existing, they have to do it, they told me, so I was like, because they told me that the software for this rear view um, camera wasn't working and it was making the cars flaky when they put the software in. When they upgraded it, it was making it worse. So um, they told, I was like, just, well, just don't put it in then. <laughs> it's simple. They're like, no, 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 we have to do it. We have to do it. So they messed around for like, probably three, four hours trying to get this recall um, sort of in there and, and having the car sort of take to it and, and you know, and, and want to use it. Um, they ended up putting a new rear view camera on the on the back. It still didn't work. They had to reset the software. They gave me a car overnight, um, a little loaner car. Take a look at the video, C300 2022, brand new, really, really cool video. Uh, but I ended up coming out of there next day, went and picked up the car, and they had forgot to put that charge on there. So I was gonna walk out of there like with like a $50 charge to have a bunch of stuff sort of you know, looked at and service and stuff like that, you know what I mean, which is, which would have been awesome. But me using my big mouth, I was like, oh, did you get this, did you get that? You know, how's that front grill looking? I was just a little bit worried. Not worried, but I just wanted to make sure everything was done. He's like, oh yeah, 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 hold on a second, let me reprint your bill. I was like, oh my God, okay, all right. He's like, yeah, you got a freaking big mouth. I was like, I do, my bad, my bad. So, after everything's said and done, you know, we're looking at $253. Not everything is repaired. All the, they, you know, they obviously like the, they offered to wash my car. I didn't want it clean because I just don't want their Brussels and all, or their their little like their abrasive sort of car wash and all that on my on my paint. They would have cleaned it all up. They filled up all the fluids and stuff like that. Really, really cool, good. Um, I have it all documented, some pictures and stuff like that while I was there. Um, I'll cut to that and show you a little bit of B-roll. Uh, but that's that's kind of where we're at. Fuel lines, fuel lines still needs to be replaced and uh, done again. And then I'm waiting for the, the seatbelt presentation on the passenger side. Little piece, when the seatbelt comes out, it's a little piece that sits around there, uh, just needs to be um, reordered and then installed. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be a huge cost, maybe 40, 50 bucks for the part. Knowing Mercedes, it won't be a $20, it'll be like $50 part. And then, God knows, they, I mean, it shouldn't be an hour to install that. They should show, throw me a bone, or I think they're gonna probably do it under warranty. So some perks of the car being under warranty, but, one thing I have learned at Mercedes is that they're very quick to say, oh no, this is this is an issue because of this, you know? Like it wasn't it wasn't the, the car just wearing naturally, it was like a rodent went underneath there. It's, you know, it wasn't just torn because the part wasn't made well um, and it it's didn't stand the test of time. It was a, a rodent was under your car. I'm like, what? So that's their way of not warranting it now. They put $200 in their pocket for that, you know? And so not super big on that. And I think, you know, when I get those kind of vibes, it makes me want to go to another, 
uh, Mercedes dealer and just kind of explore. I think you know the, my ultimate dealership where I'm constantly servicing my car will be the car, will be the dealership that you know I feel like is on my team. You know, he's like, hey, you know, like this is this is probably not under warranty, but listen, we're gonna do you a favor. We're gonna we're gonna you know we're gonna warranty that for you, or we're gonna go above and beyond. We're gonna do this a little bit special. That gives me a nice like sort of warm feeling. It makes me want to come back. Right, and it doesn't take much. Do that once or twice for me, and you've got me. Right, you've got me hooked. So that's kind of where we're at. Mercedes Benz servicing. Right, it's not too freaky. I think everyone thinks it's a you know crazy sort of you know big expense. Uh, stay tuned to my next video because in 300 days I've got my service B, which stands to be um, I guess that's an oil change, oil filters. That's the the sort of main servicing or the next big servicing for me. So. Stay tuned, I'm gonna pop a video out for that as well and uh, we can learn a little bit more as to you know what it costs to, to service these big huge like true sort of AMG C63S, you know, big sort of you know German sports cars that get run really, really hard. All right, there's the beast just idling away, looking really sexy, looking really sexy. Coming around, let me just show you what was actually fixed here. They did a really good job of it. So this is the piece that was the biggest worry to me. This little piece was protruding out. So they took off this whole front grill, right? And they were able to do that really quickly. They took that whole front grill off and put this little, this little clip sort of underneath here. I don't know if you can, you can feel it with your hand, but it makes everything nice and centered, nice and nice and good. So that's, that's been fixed. That's perfect, good to go. Second piece is, and you can see it, and it still hasn't been fixed yet. All right, let's just get some light in here. Is this little piece here? It's a simple little plastic piece, right? But when the when you close this door, right, the seatbelt housing presents itself. So there's a little motor in here that goes and pulls itself out. This piece right here, this little piece of plastic, is loose. And so that just needs to be fixed. And that, that part has been ordered. Um, so, and I, I don't have a lot of passengers in here and stuff like that, so it's not a huge, huge issue. It's also an option that you can turn off in the console over here to not have it um, coming out and stuff like that, just, just while it's needing to be fixed. So that's uh, still uh, a work in progress. Okay, so my biggest issue here, sorry about the noise, this car is loud, it's running loud, my beautiful plaque. Mwah, mwah, hi plaque. But this is the issue. Just a little tear, right? Get a little look at that. Not too bad, right? It's got that whole fuel, fuel, fuel line. They said that they want to replace that whole piece. They want to replace this whole thing. And really, I just want them to replace that, just that little shield bit. Uh, and so, so they're saying that's eight eight hundred dollars to do that. So, a look there. That's probably the part number and some of that. So what I might actually do is is find try and find an aftermarket part of some sort where I can just kind of just buy the heat shield um, instead of Mercedes Benz. Looking to bend you over, looking to make money wherever they can. It's it, it, the, he even mentioned the technician when I was at Mercedes Benz that. Uh, I could go and find an aftermarket part, probably have it done on the cheap. So I'll go and explore that. But um, again, it doesn't doesn't look that good. You open your engine, it's like twin turbo, you know, one man, one engine plaque, and then there's this little fuel line sort of heat shield that's chewed off a little bit. Just doesn't look that great. So uh, priority, yes, um, we'll get it taken care of, and I'll report back to you guys. So hopefully you got something out of that video. Uh, more to come in the next little while with the C63. I've got a lot of uh, a lot of little little things planned. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit like. Really, really urge you to subscribe. Go browse that channel, take a look at all the other videos, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.